What's going on guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to install Man's Mob Control uh, for your server. Well, just Mob Control really, um, it doesn't really matter what the name is. But anyway, um, here's the mod, uh, this is before I've run the server at all. Uh, just to prove I haven't run it, I'll delete these worlds um, and whatnot. I'm actually going to be testing on the 1.1 snapshot file, uh, which isn't a completely stable build and whatnot, but it should run anyway. Um, just because it's quite a simple mod, but uh, what happens here, there's not really much to it. Uh, that's another mod I'm currently working on, it's not going to be released yet, it's got some stuff to add to it and whatnot. But yeah, here's this mod, um, it's only 11 kilobytes, so it's not a massive file. But uh, we're going to go ahead and run the server, and uh, now that should be generating the uh, Minecraft 1.1 world. And uh, I'll just show you what's going on here while um, the world decides to generate itself. So what this plugin does is it allows you to control what mobs spawn and which ones don't. Um, and basically, it has a lot of uh, has options here to allow you to control all these different mobs and whatnot. And obviously, I don't think it likes some of this stuff in the uh, new file. Um, that isn't this mod. That's admin CMD. Uh, I've only got admin CMD to test this spawning. This mod's fine. Um, it's initialized itself okay, and. Um, We've got all this mob settings here. So um, first I'm going to show you guys uh, what's going on. So there's nothing special here. It's just a standard plugin with a standard folder. And um, if you guys don't know how to set up a bucket server, then I recommend you guys go and check that out. But what I'm going to do here is just log into my normal Minecraft account, whatever, and uh, go onto the server. So here's the test server, and it should connect. Hopefully it will connect fine first time. And here we are in the world. Now, as you'll see, we've got some wolves here straight away, and... Got a bit of lag because Fraps doesn't like recording full screen applications um, like Minecraft. I mean, uh, when I'm recording the desktop background as well. So I'm just going to set myself to um, creative because it makes it a little bit easier to play. So here we go, um, just show the mobs. So these dogs are what I want to show you here. So those dogs are there, and um, basically, I'm going to show you how this, uh, uh, how this plugin works. I don't think admin CMD is working. Uh, just test. Nope, uh, wait. Um, nope, that doesn't seem to be working. Okay, I can't show you the uh, spawn command for admin CMD because uh, they need to update the least it's build. I'm not sure if they have done already. But what I really want to show you guys is the wall. So what I'm going to do is pause that there and uh, go into the control settings. So here uh, it's set to true. So if I change that to false now, and click select. Um, well, I'm going to have to reload the plugin to um, take its effect. And you see there, reload it, wolves despawn. And it won't let me respawn any wolves. No wolves will spawn in the entire map, no matter how hard you try. So, um, yeah, that's what the plugin does. It pretty much despawns animals. Um, so, uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the nether because there's always a shitload of mobs in the nether. And uh, this really show, it will just show the multi world capabilities of the plugin. And uh, allow me to show you guys uh, how it works across the nether and uh, whatnot, and uh, how the plugin in general works. So um, it's quite it's quite simple, so uh, shouldn't be too hard. So let's just uh, fly over here to the nether and see what we can find. All right, okay. So in the nether here, we've clearly seen some ghasts. Got a shitload of uh, pig zombie men all over the place. Um, so now uh, I'm going to turn off all the nether mobs on the on the game. Um, so set this to false. Uh, I don't think this one actually does anything. There wasn't actually an entity for pig zombie. Those just come in normal pigs. Uh, but if I turn off all the nether mobs, um, just copy this to save time. Uh, we've got ghasts, magma cubes, um, and yeah, that should do. If we reload the plugin again. Um, all these mobs are despawned. Now, um, basically, if I turn these mobs back on, uh, the easiest example will probably be to turn pigmen back on because those are the most common spawning um, and allow these guys to respawn. Uh, once again, I'll have to reload it because every time you change anything in the uh, text file, you have to reload the plugin. So uh, here we go, uh, some pigmen have already restart started respawning um, and their spawning control is completely back on the line. And, and it's, it's a simple plugin, it works really easily, really well. Um, you've got pretty much full control over every mob in the game, so uh, this can help reduce your server lag 
Uh, if say if you want the Nether to be on, so people can go and collect glowstone, but you don't want ghasts to be on, you don't want uh, these pig zombie men to be on, then you can just turn them off um, using this plugin. Um, likewise, uh, I'll just show off the preventing from spawn glitch. So um, normally to make a snow golem, you would stack two blocks of snow on top of each other and place a jack o' lantern on their head. Actually, it might not be a jack o' lantern. I don't know what I'm talking about here. Um, uh, snow golems are currently Oh, yep, yeah, uh, right. For a minute that I hadn't reloaded it. Okay, so snow golems are currently off. Now when I make it, instant despawn. Um, it's not even spawning. Um, the blocks are just despawning. So the uh, plugin is preventing anything from spawning. And um, yeah, that's that's pretty much how it works. So yeah, just uh, the main thing you got to do is, um, unless you're just planning on changing the plugin, uh, changing the mobs when you reboot the server, um, Effects only come into effect when you uh, when you go ahead and change uh, the settings and then reload them because uh, the plugin like the uh, the file only reads the text file when the plugin is enabled. So um, by reloading, you are reloading the settings and therefore changing any spawn rules. And uh, here's just more evidence of the snow golem not being able to spawn. And if I go back and change that once more to false and then reload it once more, you can see that now. We can spawn the snow golems. And what am I doing? I set that to false. But yes, uh, you can see now, if I go into here and reload, we can have our happy little snow golem friends dancing around, all happy and nice. So uh, I hope this plugin comes in handy um, for you guys. Um, my favourite for this is uh, I made it because I couldn't find a plugin to turn off Enderman and Ender Dragons, and I really wanted one where you could just all manage it, so uh, that's pretty much uh, how I thought the idea, and um, uh, that's pretty much what this plugin does. It just lets you turn off mobs, you see no ghasts have spawned at all, nothing's glitched out, really simple plugin, just stops them spawning, and uh, no trouble there. It blocks any sort of spawn command, you can't spawn any mobs with this command, no matter what you do. Um, and now I'm stuck so I'm pressing the wrong button. But yeah, that's pretty much how it works. And uh, hope you download it and enjoy it. Uh, if you found the plugin useful, please leave a comment down below because uh, I really appreciate the help I get from reading these comments because um, it gives me ideas uh, on how to expand the plugin. And uh, it also lets me know what I should do if there's ever any glitches. Uh, it's been tested quite a lot, um, especially on my own server, and uh, it hasn't been too glitchy at all. It hasn't really glitched at all, in fact. Um, so uh, I hope it won't glitch for you guys. Um, but anyway, if it does, please leave a comment telling me what happened and how it happened and all the rest of it. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching this. I know it's been quite a long little example, explanation, whatnot, but I uh, hope it's informative. Anyway, thank you.